making polyvinyl alcohol um, solution is step one to making scratch and sniff stickers. You can get this on Amazon. You can get liquid form, but it's way, way cheaper getting a powder form because um, when you buy liquid form, it's 90% water and only 10% of the product. So it's just easier, even though it takes a whole day. No, it doesn't take a whole day. It takes like a couple hours to make. It's way worth it because you just have to plan on making it for me the day before I want to make scratch and sniff stickers. So you just do 16 ounces of water, which is two cups, and it's one ounce of polyvinyl alcohol powder per one cup. One ounce per one cup. You put it in your crock pot like this you put your setting on low put it on low so one ounce per one cup okay like that i need something to stir it with okay, this is it after 30 the first 30 minutes i'm just gonna check it i scrape it off the sides every time That's it, and then put the lid back on, check it in 30 more minutes. Just getting there. After about one hour, I did have to put it on warm because on low, it started bubbling under here. You don't want to boil it. So you can see it's, it's getting there, probably another hour. It really does take about four to six hours to completely melt. All right, so it's completely liquefied. So I'm gonna put it back in the bottle. I have it. All right, four ounces of polyvinyl alcohol. A half a tablespoon of red cherry essential oil there's the essential oil inside the polyvinyl alcohol i think i'm gonna pour it in here to mix it pour it in there just because it has a handle and i'm gonna mix it for 30 minutes you can see it's big beads right now and I want the beads so small where it's actually gonna get white and foamy looking and so now I'm gonna mix it with the agitator I think that's what it's called I'm gonna watch TV and just mix it for 30 minutes and watch what color it turns because we want to get the beads of oil completely very small where you do not see them like you do now. So watch. It turns creamy white. All right, I mixed for 30 minutes. The timer just went off. As you can see, it's very cream-like. It's foamy, I should say. This, I have one more step. But before I do, I'm going to get my silk screen ready to use. Okay, that wasn't hard. You see, I just taped it. That's all you do is tape it. And then the flat side, the ink goes inside the well. It's called the ink well. And then obviously the paper goes on that side. And even if the tape is over here, all this is going to be cut out, so it doesn't matter. And then I'm going to put the mixture right here. And then I'm going to silk screen it onto here. Like that. Alright, so let me finish the mixture. This is called water gel. And you can get it on Amazon. It's actually for kids crafts. Um, but uh, 
it's used in many products a little bit and this stuff is gonna um, act as a protector protective like gel it's gonna this was gonna encapsulate the oil so you do not just smell the sticker you have to scratch it to release the oil so that's what this is going to do and it's going to thicken this up so i can silk screen it on so keep that in mind you don't want it too thick so a little bit goes a long way you want it to get rid of the water because too much water for your paper will make it curl up and then too thick you can't silk screen it on so that's what, that's what I'm looking for. So just add a little bit. Hardly any powder gel, water gel. All right, I think I'm happy with that. So let's go ahead and silk screen it on. All right, this part's gonna be the hardest cause I, I need three hands if I'm gonna record. So you just put it right here. Obviously, you don't do it this way because it'll take forever. But obviously, I guess it's working too. Can you see the consistency? I'm real happy with it. That's a pretty good consistency. So you want to get the paper one. I learned that too. The paper one is thinner right here. And so it silk screens it on way better. You don't want to go too slow and you don't want to go too fast. Oh god, okay, I'm gonna have to hold it. Here we are. Ah, like that. See? Do it again, bring it up. There we are. Did this? Let's do it. Clean looking. There we are. There we are. I think that's good. I'm gonna save that. This is this will be my first time to actually save it because that's a lot of good stuff. I worked hard making that. And if you only use it for one piece of paper. It's not cost effective at all. <laughs> okay. Here it is. You can see it on there. Isn't that gorgeous? Look, there it is. You can see the edge of the paper right here. You see how it's silk screened on? It's so pretty. I love the look of it. In my opinion, I think my scratch and sniff stickers in this way are better than some of the scratch and sniff stickers on the market. All right, so now we just let that dry. It's about five hours later and um, I was about to go cut these out with the Cricut and uh, but first, I, I couldn't help it. I wanted to, I wanted to scratch and sniff it because I'm excited. So I did the side, and it's very mild compared to the stickers that I did. That was a success story. Doing it this way a couple weeks ago, it was a little bit more mild. And I was like, well, before I cut them out, I'm just gonna do one more layer of silk screening. And uh, so I did that just to see if I could get it even stronger. So it looks really good. I mean, is the color, the, the way that it is applied on there is a 10, I give it a 10. It's incredible. It's so pretty. That's worth it just in itself. How pretty it makes the stickers. Okay, but also, um, Another thing I'm hopeful that it's going to be better doing the second round. It's so strong. I can smell it. Like it's very, it smells like strong cherry, like cherry candy, but uh, it's a little thicker. 
than what it was a couple hours ago, but it applied really well. And uh, I'm thinking that's actually beneficial to make it strong. It was about this thick, my first um, and only successful way of doing scratch and sniff stickers using this technique. That's how thick it was. So I'm curious, I wonder if that is making, since it was so strong last time compared to this, this time, I'm wondering if it being just a little bit thicker makes the coating on a little thicker, AKA more essential oils in there. So we'll see, let that dry. Can you hold the camera for a second? Yeah, sure. And film this. I'm going to try pulling it off without any tools or anything. Okay. Keep filming it. Oh, it's doing really well. Okay, I like it. Right, here's the finished product. I'm very happy with it. I think I'm most impressed with um this cut weird. Let's get it. Let's grab another one. I think I'm most impressed with the texture that the uh you know my concoction made. It added it's it feels it enhanced just a plain paper sticker paper. It almost feels like leather, faux leather, which is funny because it kind of looks like a little cow on here anyways, but um, I think I'm most impressed, even though it has a scent, I'm most impressed with how it made a really cool, pretty texture. And, um, Without scratching it, it's a faint cherry. And then I'm going to have my family scratch it and rate it. But that is so cool. There's also an option to... I can't say the word. I'm going to try to skewer it. To skewer it, the stickers, with my Cricut machine. Where it only cuts the paper part, but not the backing of the sticker. So I can keep it, keep them on a sticker sheet and then, you know, just tear off the in-between part of the sticker and just keep the stickers on the. Did he, did he come out? Yeah. Yeah. Hey guys, I made my own scratch and sniff stickers. Will you guys smell it? They're not gross. They're not gross. And don't say what it is. Okay, Haley? I already know what it is. Yeah. Like... You guys don't look at it. Scratch it and tell me what scent it is, okay? Okay. Sophia, you go first. <laughs> don't look at it. Okay. Okay. I'm going to hand it to you. Close it. Keep your eyes closed. Okay. And then I'm going to hand it to you. Don't look at it. Olivia, you can't look at it. Oh, scratch it first. Give it a good scratch. Don't look. Don't let it smells like grape don't. medicine. Great medicine. <laughs> okay, do it again. Give it a good scratch. I'm going with grape. You're gonna go with grape? Wait, um I'm gonna go with grape. Okay. Olivia, keep your eyes closed. Mm, okay, give it a good so scratch. Good. It's not a test. Is this a front? Yeah. I'm holding your eyes, I don't trust you. I feel like this is watermelon. Watermelon? Yeah. Okay. Give it a good scratch. 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 Give